in India, if you take few examples of uh, of Uber or Ola or maybe Swiggy or Zomato, uh, many of these uh, uh, organizations are actually part of the gig economy. Apart from this, there are many, many others like OLX, where you also sell products online uh, by the bottom of the pyramid. Uh, but what is happening in this case is that most of the gig economy, while they have created a huge number of jobs, they have gradually converted their data usage of the people that they are collecting, both of consumers and their partners, whom they call as their drivers or their delivery persons or, or the service agents in a manipulative way. So I think there is, there is a huge data injustices that can be seen here is that the same driver who joined you first time was very happy because of the high incentives, a more organized way of getting customers is now subject to more cancellations, less payment, uh, less incentive, more, uh, you know, mortgages of cars and so on and so forth. First, you use the data for delivering incentives, but the same data gradually started being used for exploitation. Uh, so certainly here again, I would say it's not the blame of the data because you first collected all the all the customers data. You first collected all the drivers data. You first collected all their behavior data and how they were doing and they were giving them incentives and so on and so forth. And how gradually more and more and more and more you started having the scenario that if you take my personal example, I, I for a few years, I didn't use any other taxi than Ola and Uber. And now I don't order online for food. I don't take any uh, gig economy taxi. I always get out of my house and look for the local taxi or I, I have collected the numbers of the taxi uh, people and I call them to provide and so on and so forth. Why? Because I have lost total trust that when I, when I book a cab, will that cab reach to me on time or not? Because they are canceling again and again at the last moment. They are calling and asking first, where are you going to go? And that is being a decision making thing for them. And that also depends on that, where do they get their rights again and again for or not. So it's, it's totally being manipulated by somebody sitting on the data in a, in a, in a, in a control room and trying to manipulate who should get maximum business, who should get less business, who should get maximum ride, who should get least ride, who could, you know, get more incentive, who could get less incentive and changing the scenario all the time like a robotic system, you know. It, it, is, a, it is a very good uh, example of C that you cannot run all economy only on the basis of data collection, you know. You have to put emotion into the data. You have to put rights into the data. You have to put human rights into the data. You have to put uh, policies into the data, which is people oriented, community oriented. You know, unfortunately, 90% or most of the gig economy is being, uh, is being used from the perspective of how do you create maximum number of databases and on the basis of that you actually then think of your valuation and raise more money even though you are keep on going on making losses the data injustice is more about policies the more about the practices of how do you use the data and less about technology and less about databases and less about even data